Recently, more liberal attitudes have allowed the sex researchers to revisit the question of whether it's normal to be gay. Sexual orientation has turned out to be much more complex than any of us uh, anticipated. Homosexuality is uh, normal in the sense that a person could lead a perfectly happy, typical life, you know, without anybody interfering uh, with anything. Uh, if one wants to, you know, pick a definition of normal that means like everyone else, well, no, gay men are not like everyone else. There's something about the word normal that makes everybody accidentally think that it has to be normal in order to be okay. It's not. In fact, a lot of people pride themselves on their not-likeness of everybody else. So I think the answer is, no, gay men are not normal, but it's because you don't have to be normal to be okay. But what is it that makes someone a paedophile or a hebophile? Is it a tendency, something that we're all capable of, or are these people different? Pedophilia has to be related to something in the brain. Using the latest brain imagery, James Cantor has found crucial differences in the brains of paedophiles. Many researchers had long suspected a difference and had speculated about several parts of the brain that might be responsible. We ran a series of brain scans and we found we were all wrong. It was neither in the frontal lobes nor in the temporal lobes. It was in a completely different part of the brain called, as a group, white matter. White matter is the connective tissue that joins different parts of the brain to make a network, which means the brain functions as a well-rounded whole. In normal people, the white matter allows the correct caring response to be evoked when we see a child. And an appropriate sexual response when we see something erotic. But in paedophiles, the scans seem to show that the white matter is malformed. The colored areas themselves represent the regions in the brain that were less dense in the average pedophilic brain. It's almost like a, uh, a literal cross wiring has occurred in the brain. So that the stimulus involving a child, you know, big eyes, head, large, relative uh, to the body, is evoking the sexual instincts instead of evoking the parental and nurturing instincts. Pedophilia is outside the normal in every sense. It is a biological aberration, it's statistically rare, and it is socially unacceptable. <laughs>